Welcome to the course module 1 for the system management course. We would be starting with the system components. A brief overview of what we would be doing during this course module. We would be starting with a computer model about how input output devices and storage is linked to the CPU. Then we would be studying various components such as the functioning of the CPU, memory, motherboard, CD DVD drives, PCI card, power supply, display and keyboard and mouse in detail. Computer components CPU Memory, hard disk and RAM Motherboard, processor and other components CD DVD drives Peripheral components interconnect that is PCI cards Power supply Display Keyboard Mouse Input Output Boards A computer system is defined as combination of components designed to process data and store files. It consists of four major hardware components input devices, output devices, processor and storage devices. When data is entered into the computer system, it is called input. The central processing unit, that is CPU, processes the raw data given as input into meaningful information. This information is then stored. Storage is a location in which data, instruction and information are held for future use. The final outcome is given as output to the user. Let's come to some misconceptions about the CPU. It consists of components enclosed within a cabinet, coordinating part of a computer, converts the data from assembly form to what a layman can understand, it's a small square chip sandwiched between fans and case, a machine that processes and manipulates data and information. Now, facts about the CPU. No storage of information happens inside CPU. It does not contain memory and the OS. It processes the information transferred between user and the computer. It is due to which everything is connected in the computer. It boots the computer when we switch it on. It does not contain the graphic card. CPU, Central Processing Unit, executes the instructions of a computer program. A program is a sequence of instructions. How do we solve a question? We first receive the question, then we understand it, solve it, and finally report it. A computer behaves in a similar manner and nearly all the instructions constitute of one or more of the following operations which can be understood by comparing it to our method of solving a question. Fetch Retrieving an instruction from the program's memory that is, receiving a question. Decode Power of the instruction which specifies what to do, for example, add or subtract which is equivalent to understanding the question. Execute Perform the desired operation that is, solve the question. Write back. Put the result of the execution back to be used later for reporting, which is similar to reporting the answer of our question. A typical CPU consists of three basic units, CU, ALU and registers. Control unit controls the flow of data between the CPU and other devices. It also coordinates the activities of other units within it, moves data from one memory location to another. ALU, as the name suggests, perform all the arithmetic and logic operations inside a CPU. A CPU register is the memory address register that either stores the memory address of other data which will be fetched to the CPU or the address to which the data will be sent or stored. Now, misconceptions about the hard disk. A secondary storage device where data is stored permanently, stores secondary information, memory of the computer, backup of information, internal or external memory storage, stores the data in binary itself, stores data which can be modified or accessed anytime, allocates memory to different files saved on the system. Facts about the hard disk drive It's a magnetic storage device, that is, it stores data by magnetizing particles on a disk, typically used for storing large applications like OS, application software, utilities and data. It defines the file allocation table for each partition, which is a table of information used to locate files on the disk. 
misconceptions about the RAM. Data stored in RAM cannot be modified, virtual memory for applications, volatile memory that is it cannot store data when power off, physical memory required to run programs, buffer where the current calculations and operations take place, affects the speed of the computer, green chip which works very fast, stores primary data to boot the system, needs cleaning regularly, memory where all the calculations take place. Facts about the RAM It is used for storing data and programs that disappear once task under execution is completed and power is turned off. Temporary storage of data that has been input from the keyboard or other input device until instructions call for the data to be transferred into the CPU for processing. Storage of a copy of the main system programs that control the generation operation of the computer. This copy is loaded into RAM when the computer is turned on. It stays there as long as the computer is on. Let us take the example of a boy who is looking for a particular book. He first goes to the local bookstore. Say he does not find it there. He then goes to the city level bookstore. If the book is still unavailable, he goes to the publisher's store and he finally finds it. Similarly, when data has to be accessed from the memory, the first location to be checked are the registers, followed by the cache memory, then the RAM and finally the hard disk drive. There are different types of memory of a computer. ROM or read-only memory. It is primarily used for storing the BIOS or the basic input-output system. CMOS 1 Random Access Memory it's a battery-backed memory which is used to store system-specific parameters required by the system BIOS to boot. It also stores the system clock information. RAM It is used for storing data and programs that disappear once task under execution is completed or power is turned off. CPU speed Let's take the analogy of how many plants can you water in a few minutes. Plants closer to you will take less time to be watered as you don't have to move around much, whereas plants placed at greater distances will take more time to be watered. It also depends on the size of your watering hose. Bigger size of the hose means plants will be watered quickly. The pot size will also matter. Bigger the pot, more time will be consumed to water the plants. Therefore, the time taken to water the plants depends on a lot of factors. Similar is the case of CPU speed and CPU's performance. CPU speed is not quite a reliable indicator of CPU performance. The core speed is measured in megahertz. One megahertz CPU can process 10 lakh cycles in a second. But there are several parameters that affect the CPU performance. Cache size. In general, bigger cache size implies better performance. Another indicator of CPU performance is the FSB or the front side bus which is the connection between CPU and system memory. It typically operates at a fraction of CPU speed. A faster FSB implies better performance. Third is the word size, which is the amount of data that the CPU can process in one cycle. A bigger number implies faster processing. Fourth is the number of cores and number of threads. Usually a processor chip has multiple cores. Each core supports two parallel threads, thus making it a virtual 2x number of cores. The hard disk drive. It is a magnetic storage device, that is, it stores data by magnetizing particles on a disk. It is typically used for storing large applications like the OS, application software, utilities, and data. It consists of metal, plastic, or glass platters. There are two magnetic surfaces per platter and one or more platters per spindle. There are two heads per platter which move in and out. Data organization in a hard disk drive Tracks These are circular areas of the disk. Length of one track is equal to the circumference of the disk. Data is first written to the outermost track. Sectors Divides track sections. They contain a fixed number of bytes which is typically 512. Cylinders Logical groupings of the same track on each disk surface in a disk unit. Clusters Groups of sectors used by the operating system. There are 64 sectors in one cluster. 